What is up, YouTube? I got a perfect launch tutorial for you today. But before we get to that, just wanted to say this. I've already lost about 100, 000, 150k, and I lost an F1 UTR in tournament to, due to extreme hacking. People in little D-class cars, A-class cars, any kind of car like that are doing hacks. Say Dodge Dart. Most in go is usually 9.7. I'm seeing people do 6.7s with it. So don't be going into turf. People are doing an auto launch glitch. Another thing with the auto launch glitch or the AFK or something like that. No, a APK or something like that. Tur showdown and turf. Do people are doing auto launch? If you ever see somebody have a straight uh, 0.000 launch, never race them again. It means they're doing an auto um, launch and shifting so they will win 100% of the time with that said let's get into the tutorial today I have a 2006 WRC perfect launch tutorial this car is a bit difficult but no that's it it's just straight difficult the launch is on the second light and as usual, I don't know, the first shift late, and the second shift just before, or every other shift just before perfect, launch at about 3200 RPMs. Let's race. This is going to be one of those tutorials where I just keep doing races, because this car is hard. This car does go into the 8.2. 8.2s are 8.24s if you do it right. I'm going to be doing two races because that's all it seems like I have. And I just wanted to say this includes Super Kit 3318. Guys, I'll talk to you as much as you want, but as soon as you mention uh, can I have a car or how much money you got or anything like that, I will start ignoring you. I'm saying that now because I've, it's been doing it extremely and I'm just tired of it. Oh my god, I messed that up. Oh, uh, I have a few more WRCs that I'm going to be going through, so yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little upset. Another thing I want to say is, uh, I don't think he's on the team anymore. I don't remember his name. He scammed me at a McLaren P1. He was legit when, I when he wanted to buy my... Onyx GT spec or GT concept, but he gave me the five million, and then I he said okay another ten for the McLaren P1, fifteen for both Onyx and McLaren P1. He get, did legit on uh, the uh, Onyx GT concept, but then when he got up when it came to the P1, I handed him the car first because I trusted him, and then he just made off with the car and really ticked me off. All right. Second time. Right, third time. <sighs> Another one I'm going to be showing you right now. This, keep this in mind. This is about a 50, no, more like a $60 car right here. Watch this. This guy right here, I've talked to him for a while. I traded with him once, he was legit. But then when he said he has a WRX Sport, the Turf Edition, top 100. Was gonna trade him a Fure for it. Watch this, all the way down here. He just took the car and unadded me right there. This is about $60 worth. And I'm saying $60 worth... Because I paid the 2,000 gems for it, plus the 500 gems for it, which is 50 right there, plus another 200. 
gems on the rims or on the uh, 500 gems on the rims and 200 gems on the paint which and he just took off with it so that fucked me over on over about $55 that is something to be really ticked about I'm pretty sure that Zonda and that other car he and the uh that C7 I bet you he made off of those two those two Alright, L.I. Renegade 13, right here, L.I. Renegade 13, done. This Savannah gun, he took my McLaren P1. I, I like the McLaren P1, but I don't. The launch is a little difficult for me, so I'd rather just sell it. I was, I was on my Facebook group selling it for about, I think, 20 million. And I was going to let him off the break with 8.5, even though I asked my team for 10. So I was giving him a real good break on it, because I can easily get 20, 25 million for this car. And he just, you know, same as the other guy, took off with it. Here it is. 1674 was the rating. He slapped some ugly ass rims on it and everything else um, ticked off. All right. How much time? Six. Do a few more races. Try and get a perfect... My dog's in the back barking. This car is extremely hard. You think the, the, the GTR is bad. The GTR is a slower launch, so you at least get it better. This thing, oh my god, this thing's wicked. Let me join another lobby. Oh look, a fube. <sighs> and then people wonder why I don't go first. I've never seen when this car tops out at. I wonder if it ever does top out. Huh. I remember one day some guy was complaining that these three bots, they, uh, he was all screaming and yelling at him like, why won't you talk to me and yada 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 and everyone had to explain to him how their computers... Alright, messed up second shift, but I am going to keep this one. Also messed up the very final shift. Let's see if I at least got 8.2, which I think I did. Ooh, 8.295. I'm still in the 8.2s, so I'm happy. Alright, let's get straight into that setup. The game load up a little bit. Alright, suspension. Alright, I gotta exit out, go back into it. Suspension. And sorry if my voice is a little off. I am actually sick right now. I just got the common cold. So, yeah. 
Alright, that's the tutorial, and that's what I gotta say. Before I end the video, I actually wanna show some stuff. So, I got to the point where I kept forgetting to record or whatever on pinks and all that. There's Deckard Shaw. The guy I had to remember. So, my friend asked me if I can go into. Go on, and why don't I just take screenshots? So, I did. I think the Civic MB on is when I started winning in turf. And I got the number two. So, I got a whole two. This was like a, one, uh, a few right now. Like, uh, I think last week's turf. Yeah. And this is when I hit another 8.2. <laughs> and this guy, give a huge shout out to him. He, today, about 10 minutes ago, actually, he gave me a BMW M3 GT2. Me and a couple of my teammates for no reason. So, yeah, give a shout out to him. Alright, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.